Hi, welcome to Texas Lone Wolf Channel, your source of red pill truth. Today we are going to discuss Zeta male or Zeta male, S-E-T-A or Z-E-T-A males. All right. Allegedly, this is supposed to be a Sigma male on steroids. Okay? Now, there are similarities between Zeta males and Sigma males. There are similarities. Both of them march at the beat of their own drum. Both of them um, reject the hierarchy. And... Once a lone wolf, the other one is a lady's best friend. You heard that right? Best friend. The lady's best friend. All right? And um, above all, well, you know what? Hey, why don't we just dig in, shall we? Let's go ahead and dig in and uh, figure out what is a Zeta male. So, I owe credits to Hack Spirit for writing this piece. And we're going to cover this, and I'm going to blow this up a little bit. All right. Um, it was updated March the 15th of this year at 9.03 a.m. Thank you for the fine updates. We're going to go ahead and cover this. And, um, you know, I used to think I was a, a beta male. show all the signs. Sure, the heck wasn't an alpha male. And uh, recently discovered the truth that I'm a real eye-opener. I'm a Zeta male. The uh, author who wrote this was uh, Lachkin Lachlan Brown. Lachlan Brown. All right, wrote this piece. He's a Seda male, he said. Seda male is someone who rejects the conventional expectations, stereotypes of being a man instead of, and then instead lives their life dancing to the beat of their own drum, a.k.a. Sigma on steroids. I can tell you it's an incredible way to live. All right. 13 signs you're a Zeta male and why it's a great thing. Well, you know, the Sigma male and the Zeta male are similar. Like I said, they're similar. But the Sigma males are lone wolves. And both Zeta and Sigma reject the hierarchy. They reject that social hierarchy. All right. Zeta males are like sigma males on steroids, according to this article right here, this piece. Okay. Now, sadists don't care what label society wants to put on anyone or what ideas of masculinity has been handed to you or, pre or presented as correct. Okay, now, the Seda male doesn't let society dictate how he should act. For him, there's no such defined rules or roles reserved specifically for men or women. That's the key difference, okay? The alpha male claims that title. He wants to be top dog, top man of the kingdom okay and most women like the Zeta males because they don't do that white knight thing or that that thing that makes them look weak okay it's not a sexual orientation but personality type now let's get into what these type of men could be. They could be gay, straight, 
or bi or polyamorous. All right. Did you get that? The main point is you're independent and outside the normal bounds of what is defined as masculine or feminine in terms of behavior and norms. You may like rom-coms and UFC or enjoy sensitive songs about heartbreak and heavy metal. They don't care if it doesn't fit or try to translate into a slot. They just doing their own things. They doing their own thing. All right. Now we're gonna talk about the really don't do the white knight thing, all right? This is gonna get interesting. All right. This is gonna get very interesting. You know, we just talk about the uh, Zeta male doing the white knight thing. Do you know what white knighting is? A random man running out for a woman's defense, hoping to get something in return. Other than that, gets friend zone, which is a mental prison. Friend zone is a mental prison. I hope you get this. Because you ain't going nowhere. It's just a, an emotional tampon, so to speak. But um, number two, they don't do the white knight thing. Okay, being a white knight who rides the rescue of damsel in distress can be a very it can be a very alpha trait that. Kickstart true love story for the ages. But Zeta male is not in is not that into it. If you're a Zeta male, you may find yourself skeptical about idea uh, like chivalry, paying for a date, or other conventions. They don't mean much to you. If you want to pay for a date, you will. If you don't, you won't. And uh, a Zeta male sees people more as individuals than deserving spe special privileges or treatment, depending on their gender. As a Zeta male, you may have quite an active dating life, but you find that long-term relationships comes harder to you, partly as a result of your lack of buying into a mainstream ideas of romance in relationships. Are you getting this? Very interesting. It's very interesting. I just hope you open up your ears and, and take in what I'm talking about, the Zeta males. And they do exist. All righty. So, anyways... I'm glad that we're on par with this, and we're going to have a good discussion on this. So let's get ready to dive in more. You see people more as individuals than, this, okay, we already covered that. Now, number three, you let relationships happen naturally. Okay? Zeta male allow relationships to unfold naturally without putting a lot of labels, labels or expectations on them. This can be frustrating more traditional partners, but it can be more liberating for those who feel stifled easily in intimate situations. Zeta male's independence and confidence internally often manifest in ways he barely even aware that of uh, that turns women on and gets them chasing him. So, now, many people claim that, that the alpha males are on top of the social hierarchy. That's actually is the sigma male. The lone wolves who are silent leaders that rule the roost, okay? 
These independent alphas are more motivated and magnetic than alphas, less interested in praise or validations, so to speak. Then after them come alphas and the natural leaders, courageous warriors, business leaders, and so on, tied in with the social with the power the social power of the alpha is the zeta male. Okay, the zeta male who fully marched fully to the beat of his own drum and doesn't even adhere to typical masculinity type of a sigma or the alpha. So basically, according to this article of Hack Spirit, the alpha and the zeta are, you know, they're both. Um, you know, equal, all right? Okay, he may be outward masculine in some ways, or he may not be. He might seem extroverted or introverted or a mix of both. Now, we're learning about this, aren't we? He may dress formally or just throw on sweatpants. The Zeta... Male and has his own schedule, his own goals, and he is highly attractive to mates and to friends because of his magnetic and self assured personality. <coughs> Number five, you're an innovator, so to speak. Another greatest thing about being a Zeta male is the ability you have to tune out all the noise and focus on your own goals. You are likely to have a creative mind and be something of an innovator who enjoys coming up with new ideas and improving on the old ways of doing things. You don't worry about how others see you. You're much more interested in a mission at hand. This can make you an extremely successful business leader, although it can lead to issues in relationship if when your independent streak flares up on you or you disagree with a set of ways of living life. Now, Zeta males are intelligent, sensitive, affectionate men who do not submit to what society dictates a man should be or what the role of a man is in society. This is how 40X Life by Design so uh, explains it, okay? You're open-minded. Number six. Zeta males are interested in hearing everyone out, and they don't usually can cling to ideas about how things should be. They're fine with doing the dishes, looking after the kids and their marriage. They're and they're accepting of people of all different identities. Hmm. You want to be a man at home? That's a Zeta male, okay? Zeta male is extremely authentic, true to himself. He respects others and the truth because he respects his own. All right? The Zeta male is, you know, okay? Now, he feels no need to impose his view views on others and doesn't react to well to folks trying to impose theirs on him. Wow. <clears throat> if he meets the showy alpha, for example, Zeta male will respectfully be respectful of this guy's way of being a man unless that guy steps over the line into being aggressive or bullying. This is where the Zeta male's tolerance will stop and he will tell the other dude to take a hike. <clears throat> so, the Zeta male is like a Sigma male on steroids, except for the fact that um, when it comes to it being in a marriage, he'll look after the kids. He'll stay home, take care of the house while the woman earns money as a breadwinner. And number seven, you'll understand women really well. Now, now we're going to take a good look at this here from this perspective, all right? Now, right up the 
top of the advantage of being a Zeta male is understanding women. As a Zeta male, you'll find talking to women more rewarding than talking to men. And you will, and you understand female psychology. And you're not mystified by the ways of the women or stumped in the same way many men sometimes are. Are you getting this? And your problem, on the contrary, is that you understand women so well that you may be tempted to play with their thoughts or emotion to get what you want. But there are good ones and bad ones in every personality, everybody. Just give you a heads up. And this can erode trust in a relationship and lead to various situations where you, as a Zeta male, find that long-term con connection can seem to elude you. You may find headstrong, demanding women quite exhausting and hard to deal with. Their lack of breathing room for, you, for your individuality, well, true that, according to Hack Spirit. All right, number eight. Number eight. You won't change to meet the mate's expectation. Well, there's a lot of men who are willing to change for their women. And this is where you make the most crucial mistake. You change, she drops you and runs off. Because you did not stay true to yourself and to women out there that manipulate men this will utterly be your downfall and remember men talk okay men talk to other men just giving you ass up and According to the modern women nowadays, they go out masculine, wanting a man to be a grocery list to pre-qualify in a relationship. Once one of the items run out, she bails. Listen. The, the high standards and high expectations will lead to extreme loneliness, so to speak, all right? It will lead to loneliness. I hope you can get this. Now, okay, no, let's go ahead and follow on with this. Number eight, you won't change to meet the expectations. All right, you won't change to meet the expectations, all right? Let's go ahead and... Read up on this. Zeta males refuse to change to meet the mate's expectations. Plus, on one side of this leads to potential, leads to increased independence, clarity of vision. The Zeta male does not back down easily from a dream or goal just because someone else criticizes him. On the downside, this could lead to Obstinacy and refusal to compromise. However, the Zeta male traits of being their own person almost always err in the plus side. <clears throat> Zetas tend to be creative but reasonable men. For this reason, the mates or those in their work and private life generally come around to respecting the Zeta's way of seeing things. Now, know, know your purpose. All right? Know your purpose. Zeta males are usually very motivated and goal-oriented people. They are fortunate enough Often to find their purpose early in life, they work hard from as in on. For Zeta males who don't find their purpose, life can be very confusing. You may feel your own unique potential and passion stirring inside, but you're not sure how to translate them into the outer world or a 
career path. All right. Now, just give you heads up. Um, Sata males are linked to MGTOW. So, I don't understand the idea of marriage, looking after kids, and staying home and doing this, or linked to men going their own way, a philosophy. It's not a movement. To the hack spirit authors, it's not a movement. It's a philosophy. It's a man building himself up into a better version of himself on that philosophy. Although there's some men out there cosplaying, they're, they're out there cosplaying uh, MGTOW. They're out there cosplaying. All right? And a lot of men went this philosophy due to the family court system, to false uh, claims, to um, being taken to the cleaners through no-fault divorces. And oftentimes for monetary gains. Now... Uh, I'm going to read this, what this hack spirit said about Zeta males are linked to MGTOW. And personally, you know, I, I'm going to I'm gonna give you my two cents on this. I'm going to read this. I'm going to read this here. Then I'm going to go back and give my two cents on this, all right? Zeta male concept and the movement and the various links to the men going their own way movement. It's a philosophy, not a movement, all right? Although it's been hit with a lot of accusation of sexism, it found its narratives working into some darker corners of the web. Narratives. Well, only narrative that's been working against humanity is feminism. The third wave, fourth wave feminism where men are actually trying to be like men. That is a narrative that's actually worked against humanity as a whole and cost the birth rates to plummet. You know, with that My Body, My Choice movement, that itself caused the birth rate to plummet. Because of the top agencies such as CIA, FBI. Then we got the, um, the quackery of the media, uh, CNN, Fox, MSNBC, all these different outlets. Who wants to go out there and uh, meddle like troublemakers? Quote, narrative troublemaker pushers. That's what they are. They're going out there brainwashing everybody like the, the Soviets and uh, uh, communists. So... There you got it. You don't have to worry about some invading forces coming in on the country shore and trying to brainwash citizens. When you got the media that can do it really well. So they're the enemy of the people. So to speak. So I would rather trust a rattlesnake rattling his rattler than I would trust the media outlet out there broadcasting news. At least you don't know when the media is going to strike and inject its venom into you, so to speak. So, let's go ahead and read on. So, although okay, some described as nihilism, others dis, uh, as rational stoicism. Whatever the case, Zeta Mel often has MGTOW elements in that he doesn't want to play a preset role in any uh, 
alternate gender's life that she believes he should by conviction or gender. Alrighty. So the Nigerian dating writer Ayami Tayo wrote this about this. A Zeta male is used for men who have rejected the traditional expectation associated with being a man, a provider, defender, and a protector. So that right there is pretty much where we are talking about the Zeta males, all right? He rejects stereotype, doesn't conform to traditional beliefs, so to speak. So, number 11, you should know how to look after yourself, in which they do look after themselves. And a big part of Zeta Male's ability to follow his own path also tests, also rests on his desire to look after himself. Does Zeta know how to eat well, take care for his body, get enough sleep? He works hard, play hard, apart from very close friends, family, in a crisis. He puts himself first at all times. Similar to the Sigma male, he puts himself first. See what I'm saying? And number 12, you help other men maximize their potential. All right? Zeta males are very expressive and willing to help others. They tend to be solitary, but that doesn't mean they explicitly, explicitly avoid social, social contact and are necessarily shy. They tend to be um, vary between being introverted and extroverted, may have casual acquaintances in a tight circle of close friends. As a Zeta, one of your best traits is desire to help other men and everyone with really understand dating and romance in life. And you're always up to giving advice while you don't like to be copied or found over. You do appreciate when you can help someone find their way in life so to speak. And you're especially helpful as a male role model to, for those who may be struggling to understand their place in the pecking order or find a whole idea of social power confusing in the invalid. Mm. As a Zeta, you're something of a code breaker there to help other men understand not all of us have to fit into a predetermined types have been created by other social scientists or theorists. Number 13. Now, you have your own unique way of living life, so to speak. Zeta males have their own unique way of living life as a whole. Personally, this will tend to translate into unusual and intense relationship and encounters, as well as strong friendship and clashes. Professional Zeta males tend to find himself in careers that prize his creativity and independence, whereas mental insights and imaginations are valued instead of shunned. Zetas always add their own personal touch. So if you're a Zeta, like, this author is, you know every day is a new chance to dress in your own style, talk to interesting people, and pursue your own singular interest. So, Lachlan Brown, the author of Hack Spirit, has wrote this piece. I give him credit. And I also added my two cents on the MGTOW. And there are men out there cosplaying with MGTOW, saying that this and saying that, and sharing 
undesirable pictures on their social media talking about sniff test, sniff test, sniff test. And, you know, to those cosplaying on men going their own way, they ought to take a good hard look at themselves. I mean, who are you? A uh, Harmon Harry going out and uh, chasing undesirable? Just remember, you have a self-worth. So you lay with someone who is low value, your value is going to drop. And yes, I did say that. Your value is going to drop. Not now, but later on, your value is going to drop on your own. Okay? <clears throat> the real men going their own way, all right, the real men going your own way works on building themselves up and building up the stronger version of themselves. Like embracing carpentry, embracing independence, all right? Now, embracing your Zeta, now we're going to go back to this article again. Embracing your Zeta male power. Zeta males are unique, headstrong, independent, nonconformist. Similar to the Sigma males, they live their own, they live on their own lives with no apology. So if you're a Zeta male, you're in good company. These guys are hot, mean, smart, one of the kind. They also turn on potential mate like nobody's business. Being a Zeta male sometimes makes you feel like you're the last of your tribe is actually a great thing. It's similar to a lone wolf of a Sigma male. They just go their own way. So is that a good thing or is that a bad thing? You decide. And in your comments, type in here. Let me know what you have to say about this. Now we're going to go to the next article about the Zeta male. And uh, you ever watch the TV show The Modern Family? The notable Zeta male is the man who plays that part of Phil. All right, so let's go ahead and hop over there, shall we? Now, say the male definition are intelligent, sensitive, and affectionate men who do not submit to what society dictates a man should be or what the role the man is in society. Very, very interesting, isn't it? This is very interesting. All right? This itself is very interesting. All right? Now, what you'll learn in this article about Sada Mill, thank you, 40X by Life by Design, for contributing to this. All right? Now, thank you very much for taking a good, hard look at this. All right? We're going we're gonna to go ahead and uh, I'm going to blow this up. I'm going to blow it some more. All righty. Now, life in general as a SATA male, all right? Life in general, Okay. A Satan male has a personality trait that makes him extremely independent as a man. Others would tend to rank you outside a social hierarchy because of your independent Satan male traits. Unfortunately, because of opinions of others that have to, about your strong, independent male, male Zeta traits, you will find it difficult to fit in. Then, then again, a typical of Zeta male, you don't care how others rank you on your social hierarchy. Okay, you don't care how they do. As a state of male, you know who you are, you know what to believe in, and how you will function in a society, whether it's against the norm of others. Expect men to function in society. State of males authentically live life so they are true to themselves. A 
okay? Say the male live a say the male lifestyle without giving an iota of thought to the judgment of others. So, this photo right here is Phil from Modern Family Picture. That's a Zeta male right there. He is a Zeta male. Zeta male have the potential to become extremely successful in life because they are not distracted by trying to fit in or opinions of others. What is a Zeta male? That's one of the seven personality types in the male social hierarchy. Here's a, um, there is a uh, link there. I just, okay. I just clicked on it and opened it up to another new page. We're going to cover that, all right? And the second from below the sigma is next to alpha male and a beta male and, and so on. The zeta male is a highly evolved male personality type who plays the Satan next to the Alpha because they're both similar. All right. This is the actual hierarchy here. If you're an Omega, you're a child at heart. If you're a Gamma, you're, um, you have a grandeur, um, idea on how to be an alpha without the instinct and you're a delta which used to be an alpha at one time got you know cut down through job cuts what have you then you got the beta which is a lieutenant then you got the alpha and the theta and the sigma so we're going to go ahead and take a good look at this now as y'all see right here, um, you know, women, especially in modern times, love the three male personality types for different reasons. One thing th all three have in common is their highly evolved status and confidence knowing who they are, and the Seda male is no exception. Okay? No exception. Women who love men are well defined with themselves who they know who they are, whether either love an alpha male or hate a zeta male or love the zeta and hate an alpha, or especially when the sigma male is not in sight. The sigma male is in sight. Women would have fallen for an alpha, zeta, or most likely shove them aside, go after the sigma. And remember, the only game a Sigma male play is zero game. They are true to themselves. They believe in walking alone and being their own pack. The Sigmas, you cannot get into their head. You cannot manipulate them. They are manipulation resistant, so to speak. So, we're going to discuss the Zeta male, all right? A Zeta male is a male that follows his own rules, and it often is referred to as being a very authentic, true to himself. A Zeta male does not define masculinity or manhood the same way other males define masculinity. For a Zeta male, there's no specific role that is either reserved for a woman or a man. This is in the eyes of a Zeta man, all right? Most often than not, you will find him in the midst of a group of women talking about typical things that women talk about. That's a key difference between a Zeta male and a Sigma male. That is a key difference. Okay? About family life, family life issues, work issues. The one person at work that gets everyone's nerves. Mm. 
It's rare to find zeta males mingling amongst the alpha, sigma, and the betas, or delta males in the social gatherings. Not because zeta male does not want to, but because the other males rarely invite a zeta male into a conversation because of their non-role approach view, specific view of life. Now, zeta males are often described as a woman's best friend for many obvious reasons, as you will see. Now, are you a zeta male? Are you a zeta male? Hmm. We're going to go ahead and dig deep into this. All right? So let's see what you, if you see if you are a zeta male, all right? You need to think, you need to, okay, to tell if you're a zeta male, you will need to think about what you want from life. What do you think about the role society subscribe to men and women? And what drives you to do what you do every day? If you feel like society should be more open to men to stay home dads, men fulfilling roles women used to occupy, or society should not impose what a real man is, such an alpha male, on everyone, then you are most likely a Seda male. Okay? Uh, now, you're getting the picture? As a Seda male, you fit, feel a bit more impressed to be a type of male that you do not necessarily want to subscribe to or have the desire to be more authentic you, a male that's more homely and family bound. Okay, so sorry about all that. I had a little phone call problems. And uh, anyways, we're going to go ahead and um, you know talk more about the Seda male. Okay, the only reason why you haven't expressed your stepped into that role would be your fear of what others may think of you if you do. Okay, the Zeta males could be straight, bi, or gay. Your sexual orientation doesn't determine if you're a Zeta male, but your thoughts on and conviction about what you want to do in life or what determines if you are a Zeta male. For example, for instance, the society subscribes the idea to that women are normally the ones who will stay at home and look after the house, kids, and everything else that needs to be done to run a household. But what if that's what you want to do and your wife or partner is the breadwinner? In today's society, sometimes we have that as the breadwinner, all right? One who brings in the money, all right? Does it make you wrong or does it describe you to be a male that does not subscribe to specific roles to either men or women? And that is a Zeta male, Okay. Now, as a Zeta male, what do you want from more? As a, what, what would you want most from life at this moment? Alrighty. As a Zeta male, what drives you completely different from anything else that drives you, that drives other male personality types that it that is liberated from thinking, and be able to live the live free from expectations. Do you get this? Now, your thoughts would be something like the examples. I wish I could be free and stay home and create a home. I wish others did not judge me because I did not do the typical male pissing contest. Okay. Why does society force me to do what they think a man should do, not just let me do and let me be and do what I want to do? All right. And most of your thoughts would center around being authentic, creating a safe environment for you and your loved ones, taking care of others for you, the comfort and the welcoming environment you create are far more important than setting high financial career goals. All righty, now we're getting into the nitty-gritty right here. Now, friends, families, work colleagues describe you as very homely type a man with love for the artistic side of life. 
When you find yourself in a social setting, you will most pref probably prefer to talk to women and are welcome into the group extremely easily because you will be described as a man that understands a woman's point of view. Are you getting this? Now, when you do get invited to social gatherings, your invitation, your invitation would come either a lady friend or your partner who got invited and you are going with men who fall into other six male personality type categories will generally not invite you because you are judged as being a soft side, on the soft side, so to speak. You see that? It takes time for you to develop friendship with other men for this reason. Now, you would normally not have many male friends. It's about, it doesn't bother you as of all your attention and focus will go in creating that safe environment for your inner circle that normally consists of your partner, kids, if you have any, and very close friends. In that general, your focus more close to home than outsiders. Next, we're going to take a look at some positive and negative personality traits of Zeta males, all right, or Zeta males. Most who have taken the time to get to know Zeta males find them to be very extremely pleasant. So, with me covering Zeta males, all right, um, they're actually Sigma males on steroids, but they hang around with uh, partners of choice or females per se. Alrighty. Next, we're going to take a look at some positive negative personality traits of a set of male who have taken the time to get to know the set of male, find them to be extremely pleasant. Alright? I think I read that once. When you as a set of male discover your strengths and weaknesses, you will learn how to expand your social circle to include other male types on your social hierarchy. Most of all, male character is a type, it's a sigma male in a male theta. You will look at what makes sigma male the highest sought after male in the hierarchy. It's because of his introversion and being a lone wolf. It could spark you as a new field of interest to develop further as a sigma male. You know, theta can go into a sigma male if he wants to. All right. <clears throat> At the end of the article, we have a link to social hierarchy so you can see how this works. Or you can read more about the social hierarchy by, by clicking here. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and open it into a new... Uh, I've already, I already did that. I've already did that, okay? Now, let's, let's, let's look at the... Positive character traits of a set of males. Are you ready? Set of males are the most evolved male personality types, and as we have mentioned, it just sits just below the sigma male. What makes the set of male interesting is their verified, varied fields of interest. Most set of males are well read, have developed an open mind when it comes to roles of men and women play in life. They're open to the idea of a woman having more power, income, say in the house, and literally think of men and women as complete equals in every sense of the world, in, in the word. I thought it says world, but okay, in the word, okay. Say the males love to entertain and create environments where others can thrive and relax. Women love say the males because of their worldview that men and women are equals. They have no shame if women have more power than them. Are you getting this? At work, they play versatile roles as they be extremely inclusive for all who are part of the team. They were focused on task, not the person doing the task. They're outcome focused and they will be more willing to step in to help others to meet the end goal without judgment that the other person lacks skill to, or drive. The conversation will be intellectual, will be about topics involving life fulfillment and 
having a wholesome life instead of finance goals and hunting and outdoors. Now, we're going to look at the negative character traits of Seder males. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? The negative character traits of Seder males. If you do not... If you do recognize yourself from this article that makes you feel horrible about yourself, do not despair. You're a highly evolved male as a type set of male. You do not fit the former label that other men will put on being a manly man. The hunting, go oriented or go-getter type that is stereotype of a man's man. As a state of male, you feel frustrated because although you're very well evolved, you could make the perfect partner, who many who have liked you as a partner may shy away from you because you do not fit the bill as a manly man and yet to provide very sense of the word and more. The next few paragraphs will show you some points that make it difficult for you to be accepted in groups and for also find a partner for life. If you use this information somehow, turn it around, you just may... You may just set yourself on a path where you can live the best possible life imagined. Okay, remember, as a Santa male, you may come across as snobbish. As a Santa, you know, you may come across as being a snob or snobbish. If you have truly evolved in a Santa male, would mean you do not really care what other people think of you. This personality trait mixed with you being so different from the norm, we find it in men that will make you come across as snobbish. Now, other men will take your I don't care what you think attitude as a cold shoulder, but in general, they will return uh, this with either a smart remark or with a shut you out attitude. Other men will never approach you again as if they think you cannot provide any benefit to, to them in terms of giving them attention. Put them higher on a pedestal will make them, it, it makes for a lonely journey of a feeling that you're always judged and not well understood. You know, we have this, uh, we have this thing in the world that Many people prejudge others without actually sitting down and get to know them one on one. So, if a person comes up and says they're a lone wolf, and you prejudge them by belonging to a faith that paints a negative picture, all right, it paints a negative picture of a person without you actually getting to know them, you already missed out on getting to know who the person is. You done wasted your time. <clears throat> so we live in a world where many churches profess to believe in a divine being with a name, but yet their hearts are far from him. If you know what I mean, their hearts are far from them. Some people actually have, are, are lone wolves with a kind heart, often looked aside. Say the males probably have a heart of gold, but really, in reality, they don't care what anybody thinks of them, all right? Now, as I say to male, you tend to live life in your own world. Because of your evolved nature, you live a life where your world basically consists of you and whoever you have let in your world. It's all about you and protect this tiny self-created world at least you isolate in your world, it's hard to develop a friendship with anyone who lives in that small bubble. I hope you're getting all what I just told you on this. Now, 
As I said, Mel, you pity other men who do not share your worldview. Well, say the males do pity other people who don't share their views. But, um, again, it's up to them. So, now, as I say to male with a vile worldview of life, everyone's equal. You live with your view that any man who does not share this open, liberal worldview is not an evolved man. Basically, you look at the other male in the social hierarchy, and um, you know. You don't think that they are, it's not an evolved man. Tiny speck of judgment, elevated arrogance about your evolved status makes you a target for other men to hate. Yep, no one wants to see this lesser than you, especially someone who has such drastically different view on the role men and women play in life because of your drastic different style. We could put it that way. Other men, data males, have come across as women with a phallus, only one with a non-working ornament, that they cannot fathom why women be interested in a man who are willing to be stay-home dad or man. So, all of this will stem from your higher than the attitude towards other men, knowing you have entered into a pissing contest with the other male on the social hierarchy, all because of your view and lifestyle is so different, and you think it is better. I don't know about this, folks, but uh, this is getting interesting. So, um, what women. Think of you as a set of males. Set of males are alluring to women because of their independence. No need to impress attitude. You're easily drawn into conversation with women that you see things as they see things. And this is one drawback, though. You will get friend zone extremely quickly. They say this uh, Zeta male is a Sigma male on steroids. But that's that Sigma male on steroids will get friends on pretty quickly here. There are so many women in the world that have extreme level of femininity that makes them motherly who will love to have you as a partner. Women who will love to play house and be a mother are more likely to be the ones who are attracted to you as a set of male. So... And there are some countries around the world where women outnumber men. And most likely those women will flock to a set of male in a heartbeat, so to speak. I mean, this would actually, in, anyways. Now, if you do find a woman, they would act motherly towards you as well because there is a lack of testosterone driving sexual appeal. What appeals to women is your own desire to build a family, home environment, and your immersive focus to play equal role. So to speak. <clears throat> now. Now. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get on this topic right here. All right, are you ready? I don't know what your friends will think of you as a Seda male. Most of your friends will will like you. Very Seda male like or male that falls lower on the social hierarchy of men. Okay. Your friends will like you for who you are because of your nature to create an environment where they can thrive. They enjoy the fact that you have no judgment towards them and your friends will be made up of men who need approval. You know, seeking validation. Or who need someone in their life that can listen to their endless battles in a male stereotyped world. And yes, we have a male stereotyped world. Your friends will respect you and they will most likely be the ones who 
call you instead of other way around. But because you're so immersed in building your own homely world that they rarely is on your mind. So, um, what your colleagues and boss think of you as a SATA male? Men I work with tend to leave you alone. They're confused because of your male set of nature and unbiased way of thinking towards men and women. You will confuse most men that they will not be able to place you. And they will battle to figure out if you are straight, bi, gay, because of your nature of being unbiased doesn't make you lean toward one way or the other. Testosterone doesn't drive you to where other men will will regularly do the piercing contest thing or through playing sports, bantering, grading women on a scale 1 to 10, and you will be found reading a book. And this, because of your nature, rank men on the uh, hierarchy will place you in their mind outside the social hierarchy. In other words, you do not rank. And women at work will adore you because of your approachable nature. <clears throat> In general, you'll be respected for your contribution at work, and you will be regularly be overseen for promotion because of your lack of testosterone-driven leadership skill. And leaders often chosen when they display alpha or sigma characteristic traits. The zeta character traits do not lead others to see you as a leader. Now... Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and put this link into the description box, and you can read this. All righty. Now, um, <coughs> excuse me. So, now. We're on that Pulse.com written in 2017. The new class of men who don't care what you think. All right. So. Anyways. Now, the term alpha male should be strange to you. It's become a pop culture buzzword. Up to the point of overuse. Alpha male is a confident, strong male who is leader of the pack. Things revolve around him the way he leads for the other. Alpha males are known as the bad guys, arse holes, or even Yoruba demons. The male, beta male is next on the pecking order. He's the opposite of the alpha male in the pack. He lacks charisma, charm, physical presence, and confidence. The beta males are the nice guys normally friend zoned by hot babes, according to the pulsing.com. The last on the list is the omega male. He's the bottom of the pile. He's socially awkward, doesn't look presentable. In other words, he's a slob. Nobody wants to hang out with these type of guys. Apart from these men, there is new classification of men, the zeta male. As I discussed in the previous article, the zeta male similar to a sigma male, all right? Anyways. Now, these men are based largely on how women perceive them in society expectation. The Zeta male is a rebel who doesn't give a damn about women and society. Hmm. So, Zeta male is used for men who have rejected traditional expectations associated with being a man, provider, defender, or protector. He rejects stereotypes, doesn't conform to traditional beliefs. He marches to the beat of his own drum and refuses to be seduced and shamed by anyone. Hmm. Sir, the term Zeta male first appeared on the internet in 2010. The appearance of Zeta male in a hierarchy of men has a lot to do, lot to do with what is known as men going their own way. 
And again, I'm going to correct Pulsing.com that MGTOW is a philosophy, not a movement. Okay? Feminism is a movement itself. And it evolved over time. More like a grocery list, so to speak. So, where alpha female might find feminism amusing, theta male hates it. So, the Zeta is named after Zeta Persei, the third brightest star in the constellation. Anyways, according to the website Voice for Men, quote, Persei is a variation of Persis, first Greek mythological heroes in Greek mythology. Persei slew Medusa. Medusa has to be the symbol for feminism. Okay? And Zeta male is nor known as the fourth dimension of men. It'll be interesting to see how long the Zeta male will last in an era of social construct. <clears> hmm. <throat> I don't know this. So, we already got that. I'm going to talk about this next time. Now, we're going to talk about the social hierarchy in the next in, in the upcoming video. So, now, you know, the Seda male hates feminism. To the women out there that are feminists, you're looking for a Zeta male, just give you a heads up. Zeta male dislike feminism. Okay? Now, I'm going to conclude this video to be released. All right? <clears throat> so, now remember, Medusa is tied to feminism. So I don't know how many people read about Medusa. Anyways, thank you for watching the video and be sure to hit the like button or dislike button, whichever choice you like. Or also hit that subscribe button to get more content to show up in your um, notification area, okay? Thank you and peace out.